It's Heba Balut, head of secondary cycle and science coordinator at St. George Schools, Lebanon. I'm also an advisor of leadership programs locally and internationally, such as Model United Nations and Model Arab League, educator at Adyan Foundation for Interfaith Dialogue, and of course, Global Teacher Prize Ambassador. Actually, survival is one of the biggest challenges nowadays in our beloved country, Lebanon. And this is actually heartbreaking. Um, going back to um, 2019, just before the hit of the pandemic, we had protests, of course, in streets against corruption. Um, so schools at that time were closed and then opening frequently until March, where the Ministry of Education has closed schools and recommended online learning due to COVID-19. And here comes all the challenges after that. I mean, we started, of course, um, uh, by what we call the chaotic times where teachers were supposed to shift online without knowing anything regarding tools or even platforms. We had to auto train ourselves. I mean, we had to discover the suitable method in order to reach our students virtually. And here, of course, I salute all the teachers who made this possible, especially my colleagues at St. George. Um, not to forget that we are living in a country with many infrastructural problems. I mean, other than technical problems that I've just mentioned by auto-training ourselves, we have, of course, in Lebanon, um, bad infrastructure regarding connection issues, and of course, the frequent power cuts, causing students or even teachers to keep leaving and joining the meet because our virtual classes are on Google Classroom platform. Not to forget the economic crisis uh, and the free fall of the Lebanese currency, losing more than 85% of its value in comparison to the US dollars. And teachers, of course, as most of the Lebanese people are still paid in the Lebanese pounds. If not the same salaries, maybe sometimes less or more than the uh, previous salaries. And these salaries do not even cover their purchasing ability, imagine. The parents as well are not being able most of the time to pay the school fees in private schools. All this, of course, leads to the biggest challenge. I mean, well-being of teachers and students who are living all these stressful cases and this stressful situation in Lebanon. Adding to this, of course, the psychological damaging that is being caused by the devastating explosion of Beirut port. Now, imagine all the uh, uh, situation, add to it the pandemic, and more than 6,600 Lebanese people are being dead because of COVID-19. With the lockdown now and no students are going to schools, it's really challenging, and we hope that with time we'll be able to overcome all these challenges.